that confided to me they were a part of a program. They named the program. I've never heard of it. They also found a live alien. If these non-human craft are in fact flying around the Earth on almost a nightly basis, would it make sense to you that one or more of these would crash or land? Well, that's, that's the assumption that we have to make if uh, David's story is 100% true. Um, if these objects are flying around that have been for a number of years, the assumption would be that they would likely crash at some point and that there would be an operation to retrieve it. They provided me documents and other, other proof that there was, in fact, a program that the UAP task force was uh, not read into. Orbit. Beyond the Blue. The Veronese UFO Incident. Early in the year 1989, the newspaper Socialist Industry reported an encounter between a milkmaid in the region of Perm and a cosmic creature that looked like a man but was taller than average with shorter legs. Later that year, Soviet newspaper Komsomolskaya Pravda declared that researchers had registered the influence of energies at a site in Perm leading a geologist to conclude that they had discovered a landing field for flying saucers. Is there any truth to these reports? Considering that they came from trusted sources and were published by reputable media outlets in Soviet Russia, can there be an element of truth here? Most possibly, not. The Voronezh incident and the other reports published in 1989 are most likely to be false claims circulated by popular media outlets. At a time when hope for the Soviet Union was waning, stories of aliens and mystical creatures provided something a little less depressing to think about. But the latest sightings are very different from the Voronezh incident. In early April, an alert signal was sounded around the Leningrad nuclear power plant in the Russian town of Sosnovy Bor. An unidentified object was moving at around 124 miles per hour, at an altitude of approximately 33,000 feet, Russian sources reported. The alert triggered a special response status, reported a military officer. The unknown object was moving at the speed of wind, TASS reported on Wednesday, citing an unnamed security source. This meant that it did not have engines, that is, it was definitely not a drone, not an aircraft. In late February this year, Russian authorities temporarily closed the airspace above St. Petersburg after unconfirmed reports of an unidentified object circulated. All flights were briefly suspended from Polkovo, the city's main airport. These incidents echo the several sightings of unidentified objects that have been reported since the beginning of 2023 including several in American and Canadian airspace. The Stephenville event. Residents of a small town made up of under 20,000 people, most of them are dairy farmers, people who live simple lives, salt of the earth folks in a sense. Little did they know that their little town would become national and international news for an unbelievable paranormal event. Here's how they described the unidentified flying objects they spotted in the night sky. Faster than a speeding bullet, and bigger than a Walmart. So this object was massive, but faster than anything terrestrial that we have the technology to develop. Dozens of people, including a pilot and a police officer, said a UFO hovered over the farming community for around five minutes before jetting away into the night sky never to be seen again. A pilot, named Steve Allen, saw the object when he was out clearing brush off a hilltop near the town of Selden. Allen described the unidentified object as being an enormous aircraft, with flashing strobe lights and in a complete stealth mode. The veteran pilot believes the UFO had to have sped away at more than 3,000 miles per hour. It was followed by two fighter jets that were effortlessly outmaneuvered by the spacecraft. Allen mentioned that it took the aircraft only a few seconds to cross a section of sky, that it takes him 20 minutes to fly in his Cessna airplane. 
Was it an alien ship after all? How could more than a dozen people have been mistaken? What do we believe here? Berkshire's UFO Encounter A number of people in Berkshire County, Massachusetts, who reported seeing or experiencing something having to do with an unidentified flying object on September 1, 1969. When I say a number of people, I mean around 250. The most famous encounter from this incident occurred in Sheffield, near the Old Covered Bridge. Thomas Reed and his family were crossing the bridge when they saw a disc-shaped object hovering in the air. Reed described the craft as a white orb that was bigger than a football field. They tried escaping the UFO by continuing to drive down Covered Bridge Lane, but the craft followed them. Reed says the car was engulfed in light as they were pulled into the UFO. When Reed took a polygraph test, he was found to be 99.1% truthful. The incident has been deemed a significantly historic and true event by the Great Barrington Historical Society and Massachusetts historians. A park was founded in 2015 on the banks of the Housatonic River by the town of Sheffield where Tom Reed's off-world incident occurred to commemorate the incident. The Netflix reboot of Unsolved Mysteries dedicated an entire episode to the incident. Michigan UFO Event Now, also known as the Lakeshore Event, the 1994 Lake Michigan in UFO incident is one of the most compelling sightings of all time. On March 8, 1994, residents living along the shore of Lake Michigan became the witnesses to one of the most famous UFO sightings in history. Bright, multicolored orbs that appeared over the water and could be seen as far south as the Indiana state line, all dancing erratically across the night sky. Local police were overwhelmed with all the people calling in to report the flying objects. The dispatchers received more than 300 calls from concerned citizens in a single night. The National Weather Service then confirmed the presence of large objects in the sky over the lake objects they were absolutely certain were not planes. And just like that, they were gone. Vanished without a trace. I got UFOs in my backyard. Cindy Pravda, a resident of Grand Haven, Michigan, told a friend over the phone on March 8, 1994. She was one of the hundreds of people who saw the collection of five or six glowing orbs above Lake Michigan. More than two decades after the event, she still remembers it clearly. It wasn't only residents of Grand Haven who saw the lights, either. Similar accounts were given by people in Holland, 22 miles away. While what exactly transpired remains unknown to this day, one thing is for sure, that enough people were concerned at the same time and raised the alarm that something strange was taking place in the night skies above them. In all of these incidents, as with any witness account, the stories vary slightly from person to person, but there are enough key similarities in the descriptions to know that it wasn't made up. Triangle UFO spotted in Utah skies. Some time ago, a semi-transparent black triangle which was sighted floating over a city in the United States which also has been added to the list. Witnesses of the occurrence are convinced that it is a real alien craft because of its flight mechanism and technique. The video was recorded by an eyewitness who managed to capture the bizarre sighting. The short clip shows the unknown object floating effortlessly in the sky. The witness estimated the craft would be around 75 feet in length and was approximately 1,250 to 1,500 feet in the sky. The triangular shape dismisses any chances of it being a jet plane of any, and to top it all, it remains still and floats in the sky at the same location during the video. The footage was shot above Salt Lake City, Utah, in the USA, and follows just weeks after the United States military revealed it was looking into an unidentified flying orb discovered by a surveillance plane over an active combat zone. I noticed a fairly large triangular object hovering in the sky. It was first floating stationary, but moving kind of wavy, the unnamed witness revealed. The bystander had recorded four videos, each lasting around 1 minute and 30 seconds. The object continued to drift north until seemingly disappearing. 
M UFO investigators, who specialize in analyzing UFO videos, considered the possibility that it could be an USAFTR-3B or triangular craft utilizing the stealth fighter design and body, but abandoned that idea since the USAF would not fly a TR-3B during the day to keep it concealed from the public. The video, as with all videos like this, can't exactly be held up as conclusive proof that there are alien visitors to our planet, but you have to admit it's definitely a fascinating watch. This is not the first time triangle-shaped flying objects have been spotted in the skies. There have been multiple sightings over different parts of the globe. There is however a lot of debate on how alien spaceships could look like. Elongated cigar-shaped, like Oumuamua, cube-shaped, cigar-shaped UFOs spotted around the world. Starting 2008, there have been numerous reports of sightings of strange cigar-shaped UFOs. Dozens of astonishing UFO sightings witnessed by pilots and classified as near misses have been released by the Federal Aviation Administration. The detailed list of reports covers UFO or so-called unidentified aerial phenomenon sightings from January 1, 2008 to the present. The list, published on the Black Vault site, covers more than 16 EMIS encounters with unexplained objects recorded by trained pilots in just 14 years. The sightings have been reported in abundance in the last few years, with conspiracy theorists having eagerly engaged in speculation about what kind of creatures could be operating the gigantic oblongish objects. Californians have spotted a cigar-shaped craft hovering in the sky above the state, akin to previous, similarly shaped UFOs earlier seen in the area. A puzzling footage showed a rather long dark object that emerged on January 31, 2021, under the caption, UFO over the Pacific, and instantly drew a slew of responses, and went viral. A silver, cylindrical object, with no visible wings or windows, and a linear shape. The object was filmed at 4 p.m. One can just see it cruising over the horizon. The visibility is very good, and there are no clouds to speak of, because there is nothing in the way of this object. Earlier in the same month, another recording of what seemed to be a similar craft in the night sky was shared. Such objects have been seen in the US multiple times, with the frequency of sightings increasing as the years progressed. Strange flying objects spotted in ISS Live. The International Space Station's live video feed allows space enthusiasts to view the Earth and outer space via cameras that are fitted underneath the orbiting structure. On multiple occasions, there have been sightings of objects with UFO enthusiasts claiming them to be alien visitors. These visitors are almost always proven to be something much more mundane, such as space debris. But, this incident was different. A number of times, NASA has appeared to have severed the live video feed. That is not suspicious, since that could be credited to a number of technical reasons. Except this time, the feed was cut just seconds after the strange object came into the camera's view. This not only created suspicion among already suspicious UFO hunters and enthusiasts, but also made many wonder if NASA does indeed have something to hide. Alien hunter Tyler Glockner has stated that NASA had been doing this for years, and this is not the first time such a thing has happened. He went on to say that sometimes the people monitoring the feed are simply not quick enough, and on several occasions, UFOs have been visible for quite some time before the screen goes blue and the feed is cut. This footage appeared to show NASA cutting the live feed, when a strange yellow craft appeared to be dark to the space station. But, on this particular occasion, the footage was left for two minutes before the blue screen took its place. And this is not the only strange incident. In April 2016, 20-year-old Jaden Beeson from Worcestershire, England, was viewing the live International Space Station feed on his mobile phone 
when he suddenly stared at the screen in disbelief. Something appeared to be moving away from the space station. Beeson claims he had spotted what looked like a metal spaceship. The object was visible for a whole two minutes and had a blue glow emanating from its shiny surface. Beeson was quick to take a screenshot of the footage, which he then sent straight to NASA in hopes for an explanation as to what he saw. As of today, he is still awaiting a reply. In most cases such as these, the objects tend to be put down to space debris of which there is plenty orbiting the Earth. But it was enough to get people questioning NASA's credibility and lack of immediate response. The STS-114 boomerang is another bizarre incident and is considered to one of the biggest proofs of advanced aliens. The STS-114 mission on the Space Shuttle Discovery was the first mission of its kind since the Columbia disaster two and a half years earlier in 2003. Since that tragic event, NASA had noticeably improved what were already tight safety procedures. Thanks to this, it was noticed almost immediately when a piece of foam had appeared to break away upon Discovery's launch. Discovery's mission was to dock with the ISS and resupply the crew that were already on board. Before doing so, Commander Eileen Collins performed a maneuver that flipped the shuttle over, exposing its underside to allow photographs to be taken from the space station so as to search for any damage. When the pictures were studied, the damage was confirmed, leading astronaut Steve Robinson to venture out into space to carry out repairs. Following Robinson's repairs of the shuttle, a strange object was caught on a NASA camera. The object appeared stark white against the black backdrop of space. It flew by the shuttle at a distance, and then appeared to stop briefly before changing its direction. This peculiar movement led to the object being nicknamed the Boomerang. After investigating the footage, NASA stated the object was. Any guesses? Yes, space debris. However, the object's abrupt change of direction was proof that it was intelligently guided. In August 2006, while the Space Shuttle Atlantis was on its way to the International Space Station, en route it soon appeared it was being monitored or followed by a strange set of triangular lights. NASA immediately started an investigation to understand the origin of these lights. They seemed to have come into view just short of 30 seconds into the launch. NASA ultimately stated that although it was unusual to see this kind of debris post-launch, it is certainly not impossible whether the lights belonged to one craft, or if they were individual objects, was not stated. Atlantis Commander Brent Jett stated later that the objects didn't look like anything he had seen outside the shuttle before, and were unlike any space debris he would expect to witness, and they definitely didn't appear terrestrial. Strange structures spotted by astronauts near the moon, the Moon has been a favorite amongst alien enthusiasts since the Apollo missions. The theories that started floating around back then still have a ton of followers. One of the most popular ones is that Buzz Aldrin saw an alien ship of some kind during the Apollo 11 ride, and that he's been covering it up and hiding that he's actually a UFO believer. To be fair, Aldrin did once allude to there being an unknown something tracing their path to the Moon. We were smart enough to not say, uh, Houston, there's a light out there that's following us. So technically, it becomes an unidentified flying object. Some also believe that Neil Armstrong saw a fleet of UFOs on the moon, but that was based on a second-hand account allegedly by Armstrong. During the Apollo 11 mission in 1969, after Armstrong landed on the moon, NASA claims to have lost transmission for roughly two minutes. And in reportedly a secret message to NASA, he said, These babies were huge, sir. Enormous. Oh, God. You wouldn't believe it. I'm telling you there are other spacecrafts out here, lined up on the far side of the crater's edge. They're on the moon watching us. Of course he never directly confirmed or denied it, and he mostly remained a private person throughout the rest of his lifetime. Did he actually see something he wasn't supposed to see, and hence remained silent throughout the rest of his career and lifetime? The scientists conducting the NASA study, B-1, 
believe that the surface of the moon is ancient and unchanging. Evidence of any impact or existing artifact will be preserved for between millions and billions of years. Then, during the Apollo 10 mission, a test run for the first mission to the moon, astronauts, among other things, took to testing various equipment. The stakes were high, since this was not a simulation, but real space. Much to the surprise of these astronauts, they heard a strange sort of whistling on their headphones that they later described as space music. Later, another NASA astronaut, Alan Bean, claimed he saw something shiny on the moon. He described it as shoe leather. While you expect space to be black and devoid of light in places, what was this shiny thing he saw? Could it have been glass? Whatever the reason for what he saw, there's not much of an explanation for this one. Anyone remember the hollow moon conspiracy? Sure, some are ridiculous, but some continue to plague the minds of people decades after, and new ones emerge every day. Not all of them belong to the Apollo era. Some are as latest as 2022. UFOs spotted near the sun, 85 miles southwest of Roswell in New Mexico, where flying objects were spotted in 1947, sparking theories they could have been aliens or UFOs. A tiny white object can be seen above the trees at the crest of the Sacramento Mountains. This is the Dunn Solar Telescope of the Sunspot Solar Observatory, a facility dedicated to studying the sun. Now let's go back in time. September 6, 2018, FBI agents on board Black Hawk helicopters are on a secret mission. As they swoop over the Lincoln Forest Mountains in New Mexico, their target, the Sunspot Solar Observatory, that is used by NASA to keep an eye on the sun. As soon as they reach the place, they swarm in and shut down the observatory. No information was given to those being evacuated about what was going on. They were simply asked to leave. Even the sheriff and the local police were left in the dark. The employees were silenced and made to sign secrecy agreements. And only after 11 days was the lockdown lifted. The FBI issued a statement saying that they were investigating one of the facility's janitors for possession and distribution of explicit imagery. The person was said to have been fired, however, was not arrested or charged with any crime, but many even till this day, find the janitor's story a cover-up, so that makes you wonder, did they see something through that observatory that they shouldn't have, or did they do it to stop the observatory from seeing something during the time it was shut down? Some feared that NASA may have observed the sun shrinking in size, which is the beginning of its end before it turns into a red giant, swallows Earth, and goes supernova. But follow-up observations over the years from other observatories show that our sun is absolutely fine. Then what could possibly be the reason? It is strange that the FBI had enough information to go to the location and shut it down for 11 days while they investigated, and yet didn't make an arrest. Majority of the people believe this was a massive cover-up for something much bigger. Moving on. Are aliens harvesting energy from the sun? UFO hunters will say yes, claiming to have found evidence for starlifting in NASA images. Starlifting, a name to describe any process by which civilizations could remove material from a star and use it for themselves. In 1960, an American mathematical physicist, Freeman Dyson, first proposed that there could be a possible structure developed by an advanced alien civilization that completely encompasses a star and captures a large percentage of its solar power output, while humanity is far too low on the Kardashev scale to build such an object. Perhaps there are other species who have mastered this type of advanced technology. Alien spacecraft could be surrounding the sun in order to harvest solar energy. At least, that is the latest claim made by UFO hunters who believe that they have spotted evidence for starlifting in images taken by NASA. The image appears to show an unidentified white dot joined to the sun by a connected line. Is this a massive UFO feeding off sun energy? While the uploader admits to being initially skeptical, they appear to have been convinced the image may well show some sort of alien activity. The fact that the UFO is a different color and shape to the rest of the connected line 
is what doesn't sit right with the people. Time after time, we have seen some bizarre sightings around the sun. NASA has explained them as natural phenomena, like solar flares, plasma discharge, or comets. But there are so many things that we still do not know about the sun. And for a species that is yet to completely learn about its star and harvest all its energy, I say we keep looking and asking the question, are we alone? UFO spotted over California military base. Never before seen footage has emerged that shows the moment when a giant triangular shaped unidentified flying object was seen hovering over a Californian military base. A sighting that was witnessed by over US. 50 Marines, documentary filmmaker Jeremy Corbell and journalist George Knapp revealed the startling footage of the mass UFO sighting for the first time ever on their podcast last week. They said that there are machines, we can't duplicate their technology, and we don't know where they're from. There's no sticker, there's no tag that says made in China, made in Russia. We don't know. While the incident took place in 2021, the footage had remained unreleased until last week. Around 50 eyewitnesses reported the UFO sighting at the Marine Corps Air Ground Combat Center 29 Palms on the evening of April 20, 2021. Several witnesses filmed the black triangular-shaped UFO with red lights as it hovered in the sky for about 10 minutes before the aircraft vanished. Which begs the question, how come the video footage not made public by any of the witnesses the journalists acquired and published six videos, as well as a photograph that were shot by the US Marines. The footage shows a huge, silent triangular shape dotted with five red lights in a V formation hovering over the Mojave Desert in California. Who are they? Where are they from? Why are they here? What's their interest in us? Eyewitnesses estimated that the unidentified object was approximately half the size of a football field, massive. The UFO appeared in the sky at 20 past 8. After hovering over the base for 9 minutes, the Marines launched a significant air and ground response. A few minutes later, troops started shooting a flare into the sky in a bid to illuminate the triangular object. However, just before the flares got close enough to expose it, the mysterious object vanished out of the sky without a trace, post the release of the footage. Several eyewitnesses spoke out about witnessing the UFO phenomenon at the military base. One of my buddies was outside. He was looking at the sky and said that it just kind of appeared out of nowhere. And we all came out and looked, and then slowly like 50 plus people started coming out and looking, said an eyewitness, who wished to remain anonymous. Despite their military experience, none of the Marines could recognize the craft, and they were left baffled. This is not the first incident where a UFO has broached military territory. A similar incident had occurred in 2014. On a clear, sunny day in April 2014, two F-18s took off for an air combat training mission off the coast of Virginia. The jets, part of a Navy fighter squadron, climbed to an altitude of 12,000 and steered towards warning area W-72 an exclusive block of airspace 10 miles east of Virginia Beach. All traffic into the training area goes through a single GPS point at a set altitude, almost like a doorway into a massive room where military jets can operate without running into other aircraft. Just as the two jets were about to cross the threshold, one of the pilots saw a dark grey cube inside of a sphere motionless against the wind, fixed directly at the entry point. The jets, only 100 feet apart, sipped past the object on either side. The pilots had come so dangerously close to something they couldn't identify that they terminated the training mission immediately and returned to base. This incident is sure to have given you goosebumps, and it did so to the pilots too, who finally spoke up after almost a decade of the near-miss collision. Back then, there was no Pentagon report on UAPs, Despite the frequency of the encounters and the severe risk posed by the hazard, it took the Navy five years to adopt a formal UFO reporting structure. The first batch of these reports, heavily redacted and spanning only a few months in 2019, makes clear that the US government faces a significant challenge. 
from months before and after the incident. Air crews flew in exclusive use training areas off the US. East Coast had frequently observed unknown objects exhibiting highly anomalous flight characteristics. Despite the collision hazard posed by the UFOs, aviators lacked a formal mechanism to report the mysterious objects to higher authorities. Aliens and unidentified flying objects have for long captured the imagination of mankind. While some believe that the UFO sighted at various locations around the globe are a mere hoax, others believe that there's more to it than what meets the eye. Unfortunately, there are still more questions than answers regarding these events, and an almost certain belief that the mysteries surrounding it may never be solved. But then, what do I know? Orbit. Beyond the Blue.